Gun! Okay, that's without the laser. All right, there is a standard. One second is what we're looking at. I don't have a shot timer. We're gonna go to the laser now. Okay, here we go. Gun! Okay, one thing that you do with the laser. Oh, hey guys. Notice how your attraction levels have just peaked right now. How's it going? Loading up some magnums right now with a duty size handgun. This is a 686 plus. And we're gonna do some training with it. I wanna talk about training priorities. First of all, if you can see, come on a little closer. Should you train with 38s? Should you train with 357 Magnum? Price difference, $30 a box, $50 a box. I happen to get this for a little bit cheaper. Uh, if you're gonna fight with a revolver and train with a revolver, you really can't replace the, the training value with a Magnum round. Okay, 38s are cheaper and you're gonna shoot better with them, but this is most likely comparable to what you're gonna carry. So every once in a while, you really should spend the money, get a box of Magnums, and run these drills that I wanna talk about with you real quick. First one, training priorities. Number one is the draw from concealment. How fast can we draw the weapon and hit first round every time? There is a standard. Most schools, it's about one second. So I'm gonna demonstrate that here with both, uh, you know, a, I like a four inch or a six inch gun. And I'll demonstrate that here for you. Go ahead and pause it. Hey, I got this big ass scar on my head. Our two male dogs got in a fight because one bitch is in heat. And I'm pulling one off of the other and it got nasty. One of them got locked jaw on my other dog and I'm beating the shit out of the other guy trying to get him off and it was a mess and I got claws and I got teeth. So that's my scar right there. Okay, so what we're gonna do is the draw from concealment. This is gonna be from a sticky holster appendix. This is the way I teach it guys is this is a skill that you can't do it until you get it right you got to do it until you can't get it wrong. All right? And I will tell you, you're still going to fuck it up. After thousands of reps, you're going to have times that you sweep wrong or you come out wrong and it's not going to be perfect. The key is, is to keep rolling with it no matter how dicked up it is. Even if you were to drop the gun, don't just stand there and be like, oh, redo. You know, you got to pick the gun up and fight with that weapon no matter what happens. So... This is one of those skills at Gunsight Academy where at like, I don't know, 10 yards away, you typically go against somebody else. First one to hit steel wins. It's that simple. It's the close you get to a gunfight with somebody. So I'm going to do this real quick. The standard is about one second, I think. So I'm going to use laser, no laser. From the draw, I start out here. That's what they teach at Gunsight. Not to say you couldn't be here, here, or here, but... If we could be fast from here, which is a defensive, non-aggressive position, then I could be fast from anywhere. All right, so I'm gonna step, sweep, acquire, left hand, clear leather, and if I'm at three yards away, I'm firing right here, and then extend a Sosley's or Weaver stance, acquire your front sight. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the laser and then we'll go to not laser. Here we go. Gun. Okay, you see that muzzle flash? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna take the laser off this time. That felt really slow. Here we go. Gun! Okay. Get to where you can see a little bit closer right about here. Okay, here we go again. Gun! Okay, I keep getting hung up on the shirt. The shirt, if it has a lightweight fabric, they suck. You end up having to sweep twice. So for me, I try to come underneath and get five, ten fingers on it, ten hooks. Okay, let's do it again. Gun! Ah, bad sweep! Shitty. That was a really bad one. Missed it too. All right, let's go back to the laser. I keep getting hung up right in here. 
All right, get to where you can see over here a little bit. Gun! Yeah, I don't have a shot timer, guys. I don't know if that's good or not. Gun! Okay. All right, we're going into a reload. Pause it. All right, this time I'm running the Combat Magnum. Totally different feel. This is a lighter, easier concealing gun. It's a lot, you know, the grips on it, factory grips feel really good. They're very concealable. All right, it's actually a larger than four inch barrel. I run my reloads in a Safari Land outside the waistband rig here, you know, instead of in a pocket. Gun! Got one left and then we'll roll into a reload here. I have this split finger kind of infection going on. I'm not trying to make excuses, but man, a lot. Those magnums, you feel them. Okay. Gun! Alright, big difference in the magnum versus the 38s.